Hello, this is Brooks Whittington with HalfWheel.com. Today we're taking a look at the Porsche Design P3626 cigar cutter that was introduced last year. Now, Porsche Design products are distributed by Vissel Products, which is a company out of Texas. And this specific cutter has three different blades in one product, in one case. The first is a uh, double guillotine blade that is capable of cutting 70 to 80 ring gauge cigars if you just want to cut the cap, but it will fit a 60 ring gauge all the way through there. It also has a V cutter on the bottom, which is capable of cutting a 60 ring gauge, give or take, although the larger that you go, uh, the more shallow that V cut opening will be, obviously. And the last option is a uh, very well designed punch cutter. 7 millimeter, which is best used on a cigars between 48 and 56 ring gauge. You can go higher, obviously, or lower, uh, but it just depends on what uh, kind of resistance you're looking for in terms of the final uh, cut. Now, there are three different versions of the P3626. All of them are designed exactly the same. All of them cost the same $164.25, but there are three colors, black, gray, which this is, and a silver option. Now in terms of physical specifications, the exterior above the body is made of metal and the blades are made of stainless steel. The cutter weighs 3.7 ounces and measures 3.22 inches long this way and 0.43 inches thick, so just under half an inch thick, with a total width of 1.85 inches when it's closed and 2.75 inches when it's fully opened, like so. All right, with all that said, I thought it would be time to cut some cigars with these blades. So we're going to start with the straight cut. And as straight cuts tend to be, it's a fairly simple process. And as you can see, in order to actually open the cutter, what you want to do is you want to push down on that trigger the spring load pops open, spring loaded uh, blades pop open. Now that happens for both the straight cutter and the V cutter at the same time. So the process is the same for both of those when you want to use both of those. But the, the fact is that it's very, very good when you actually hit that uh, straight blade. You can see that that cut is uh, very, very sharp and very clean. Now in order to use the uh, V cutter, the process is the same and you want to basically put that cap into the opening and then you close it very very firmly which cuts the uh, cap nicely cleanly and the firmer you cut that the uh, the you know the harder you push when you when you do that the the cleaner the cuts tend to be at least with this cutter uh, in my experience, but you can see that's a that's a really really nice cut there. And then you get rid of the cap there by opening it back up, and it is ready to go again. Now for the punch cut, uh, the process is a little bit different, as you can see. Still quite easy and very very. It's just it just takes a little bit more finesse, is all right. And so. The idea is that when you actually are using this punch cut, the, the cutter comes up from the bottom of the cutter. Uh, the blade comes up from the bottom of the cutter. And you take the blade and you put it into the cap. And then you want to move it back and forth in a very, very slow motion while pushing down on the end of that blade. And once you do that, it will come up. You have a very, very nice cap, as you see. Very clean. And once you do that, the piece of tobacco is left, as you see in the blade. You actually push down on that from there. And that actually pushes the cap out, which you can get rid of whenever you want. And leaving that blade free. It's a very clean motion, very, very easy to use in that regard. The only thing you have to be careful of, as with any uh, any uh, punch cutter, is that you don't bust that cap 
when you're pushing down on that. Just be very careful. Move it back and forth in a semicircle motion as you're actually using that blade in there. The sharp enough, these are all sharp enough, the blades are all sharp enough to actually do exactly what they need to do. And I had very, very few problems with any of the blades uh, on, this, uh, on this specific cutter. Now, due to the uniqueness of the cutter, uh, I'm going to go through one good thing and one bad thing that I found after reviewing uh, it for uh, about a month. And then I'm going to have two things that can be pro or cons depending on you know your perspective. So, first good thing and the most important thing really is the fact that all three of the blades on this cutter work extremely well. I never had any issues with... Um, with you know caps breaking or busting or anything of that nature uh, all three of them um after constant use uh, basically took everything that i threw at it and and uh did a really good job with it if i picked up this cutter i knew that i was going to get a, a very good uh, cut regardless of what i was cutting now having said that i did run into a problem that um unrelated to cutting that i thought i would mention the trigger on this cutter is not easy to to uh to activate in a normal setting uh it's uh, it's it's pretty stiff and um while easy to open in terms of you know once you push it down uh, it doesn't just come up uh, you know open in a normal situation however i found that when i was carrying it around in my pocket uh to review it that this actually did apparently come open numerous times uh, I counted more than 20 when I would reach in my pocket and this blade would be open. Um, for whatever reason, the movement of me moving around apparently triggered it somehow. Now, this didn't happen when I was carrying it around in a bag or anything of that nature. It was just when I was carrying around in my pocket. Um, it may not happen with somebody else, but it's definitely something to uh, be aware of. Um, I never cut myself, but it was something that I eventually just got used to saying, okay, I'm going to reach in very carefully if I have this cutter in my pocket. Now, having said those two things, there are two other things that I think that uh, you can look at a, as a pro or con, depending on your perspective. The first one is the fact that this this is a very well designed cutter and you have all three of these blades in one product but with that you know um design comes compromises it has to and one of the compromises is the fact that the blades are not as large as they could be if you were using a separate standalone product um you can cut a 60 ring gauge for example cigar all the way through with this uh, uh double guillotine blade here but you're not going to be able to cut much of a 80 green gauge cigar other than let's say the you know a small amount of the cap and so if you're a large ring gauge smoker um this may not be the cutter for you uh it's definitely uh, extremely useful but how you know how much uh, of the compromise in terms of what types of cigars you're smoking uh you know depends on the type of person who you know is using it so um uh, the other you know, pro or con, depending on how you look at it, is value. At $165, this is a lot of money for a cutter, especially since you can only cut each cigar once. However, you know, you can look on it in another way where you have three different blades and each one of those costs about 55 bucks. And that's not a bad price for, you know, a cutter that, um, that, that cuts a specific style of cigar, a specific way of cigar. And, you're you're paying not just for the Porsche design name, but also for the design and having all of the compactness in this one cutter. And so, uh, if you look on it as a you know three cutters in one product, each of them costing about fifty five dollars, you know it's it, it's a little bit easier to swallow. Having said that, it's still a lot of money, and it's definitely something that the person who is buying it needs to consider when it comes to. What are they looking for? If the compactness and the portability of having these three blades is the, you know, one of the most important things for you, then that price tag is a little easier to swallow. Now, the 3626 is a very interesting product, but it's not the only cutter that has three different blades in one case. Meet the Trident by Cassetti. Now, this Trident is made by Vissel Products, which is, in fact, the same company that distributes the uh, Porsche design products including the 3626 and according to Vissel products the trident by cassetti not only is made with the same blades and the same opening mechanism as the uh, 3626 uh, but also is made at the exact same factory now there's a couple of 
different uh, differences, as you can see, although the cases look very similar and the design looks very similar, they, they do definitely have some differences. When I was testing the cutter side by side, which I did over numerous different cigars, um, I noticed that the double guillotine and the V cut blades basically performed identically when it comes to cutting cigars extremely well. The problem came when you were when I was testing the uh, punch cutter on both of these. Punch cutter is on the bottom on the cassetti and on the top on the 3626. So, very quickly, three main differences between the two. Number one, the cassetti is fifty dollars cheaper in terms of price tag than the 3626. Number two, the cassetti actually comes in about nine different colors as opposed to three on the 3626, although two of the colors are the same, specifically gray and black. Finally, the punch cutter is the main problem when it comes to how these two perform. The punch cutter on the Cassetti, as you can see, is more difficult to open. I don't have any fingernails, and so I have to open it with this thing. But as you can see, the punch cutter is quite a bit shorter uh, of a um, of a uh, ledge here on the cassetti, and when you're talking about cutting cigars, it makes a big difference because this longer ledge gives you quite a bit more control and balance when you're actually pushing into the cap of the cigar. But that's not the only difference. While I've got some uh, detailed photographs in the review that you can see, uh, there is the actual punch blade is smaller on the cassetti, so small that I can actually fit inside of the punch blade on the 3626. And finally, while this may be a little difficult to see in the video, again, there are photographs in the review, you can see perhaps that the punch blade on the 3626 here actually goes all the way to the bottom. In other words, it's a straight line all the way to the bottom. While the punch blade on the cassetti has a lip here, a ledge, right at the bottom uh, where it meets the, um, the ledge. And that really stops that blade from going as far down as the one on the Porsche design. And it's a little more difficult to use and a little bit more um, likely to have damage to those wrappers because when you're pushing it in, you, you basically stop. And then uh, it's just it just gives you it gives you more resistance when you're trying to push it in, push the uh, the blade into the cap, and so you're going to have more damaged wrappers and more problems. Um, the 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 differences were significant to the point where um, it, it's definitely noticeable. And uh, the Cassetti, while it does quite a bit, uh, quite a few of the same things and performs very similar in most aspects, the punch cutter uh, is one of the reasons that I would prefer the the uh, 3626 over the Vissel products. And so in the end, after all of that, can I recommend the Porsche Design 3626? The answer is yes, but with a fairly large caveat. Look, this is a very unique cutter, and it's really more like three cutters in one. And if you think you're going to use all three of these blades relatively equally, this is a much better option than the Trident, which, by the way, also appears to be the only other cutter that has all of three of those blades in one product. So if you're a person who likes to travel a lot and likes to have all three cutting options at once, you should absolutely look at buying this cutter. Perhaps you work at a retail store. You want to have one cutter that can cut just about any cigars that someone purchases, but also fits in your pocket, this is also a great option. But if you don't see a scenario where you're going to use all three cutting options relatively equally, or you don't need all the one portable package, you're probably going to be better off getting a product or products that is more suited to your specific needs. For example, if you're going to use a straight cut and a V-cut, but not the punch option, should you buy the Porsche design? The answer is no. If you really don't need a punch cutter, I would go with something like the Calibri SV cut, which is an excellent product that includes both a V-cut and a straight cut in one cutter costs $80 compared to 165 or so for the Porsche design. 
Now, if you're going to use a straight cut and a punch cut options, but not the V cut, should you buy the Porsche design or something else? In that case, I'd buy a combination of a great straight cutter and a great punch cutter. For example, straight cut would be something like the uh, Zycar M8, costs about $70, excellent straight cutter. And the Quasar Punch, which has three different punch options and very, very easy to use, and they all work very well. Now, the combination of these two products, $70 for the M8 and $60 for the Quasar Punch compared to $165 for the Porsche design. They do, it is a little bit annoying to have to carry around two products, but you're going to get a much, uh, quite a few more uh, options in terms of what you can do. Finally, if you're going to use the V-cut and punch options, but not the straight cut, should you buy the Porsche design? In this case, the 3626, the Porsche design, is a good enough cutter to fulfill both of these needs. But the cost, again, is fairly high. I would think about buying either two separate cutters, something like the Zycar VX2 V-cut, which is an excellent V-cutter, runs about $55.00. And then you would have to buy the punch cutter, as I mentioned, Quasar, the $60. Again, both of which together cost less than the Porsche design, although there are two different products. Or I would look into something like the a combination V-cut and punch cut product like the Vissel Marcel Wedge Cigar Cutter, which we have not reviewed. So I can't tell you if it's actually any good in terms of cutting, but the cost on that is about $50. So... That's my recommendation. If you have any other cigar news or review needs, go to halfwheel.com.